Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. Today the topic is Biosafety Laboratories. Before we start, we should know what is the difference between biosafety and biosecurity. Biosafety. Protection of human being and facilities which handle or deal with pathogenic and hazardous biological agents, materials and waste is called biosafety. Biological agents include viruses, prions, bacteria, fungi and parasites. Biosecurity Protection of highly pathogenic biological agents and materials from groups and organizations which can use them against mankind and environment is called biosecurity. Biosafety Laboratories Biosafety laboratories are particular labs which are designed in such a way they provide protection to laboratory personnel and surrounding environment from hazardous biological agents, materials and waste while handling them. Biosafety Levels Biosafety levels are established standards which are necessary to apply while handling biological materials. Basically, these are the series of regulated protection levels. Depending on the biological agents, lab staff must possess certain set of skills and do such practices which can avoid any sort of contamination and health hazard. There are mainly three factors which decide the level of any biosafety laboratories. These are laboratory practices, safety measurements and facility construction. Biosafety level ranges from biosafety level 1 to biosafety level 4. Biosafety level 1 this is the lowest level among all biosafety labs. Laboratory practices. Microorganisms which cause minimal threat or generally do not cause any consistent illness in healthy person are handled in these labs. For example, E. coli. Safety measurements. In these labs, standard microbiology practices are followed which are sufficient to avoid contamination like wearing coat, gloves, decontamination of surface area and proper disposal of used materials after work is done. Facility Construction Biosafety Level 1 labs are generally available in high schools and colleges for teaching purposes. These labs are not isolated from general building. Level 1 labs have hand washing area and doors which separate them from rest of the building. Biosafety Level 2 It is more advanced than Biosafety Level 1 labs. Laboratory Practices Microorganisms which cause moderate health hazard in healthy human being are handled in these labs. For example, Staphylococcus aureus and Equine Encephalitis virus. When the work is conducted, laboratory access is restricted in these labs. Safety measurements. Apart from standard microbiology practices, laboratory personnel must follow other safety measures like use of biosafety cabinets, use of face shield, proper disposal of used materials by autoclaving or by other proper decontamination methods. Facility construction. These labs are built within the building but they have self-closing and lockable doors. Biohazard warning sign is there to indicate danger. Biosafety Level 3 Biosafety Level 3 labs require more security precautions than the Biosafety Level 2 labs. Level 3 labs are under strict control of registered appropriate government agencies and organizations. Laboratory Practices Microorganisms which can pose serious health threat on inhalation and spread rapidly are handled in these labs. For example, anthrax, bacteria and Zika virus. Safety measurements. All standard microbiology safety practices are followed here. Additionally, fun shielded gowns, respirators are used. Hence free sinks are there. All works are performed in appropriate biosafety cabinets. Entry in these labs are restricted all the time. Laboratory personnel receive immunizations against the microorganism they work with and they go through medical checkups time to time. Facility construction. Labs are isolated from general building with self-locking doors. Directional airflow filters are there which can separate the clean air from contaminated air. 
These filters also restrict the flow of contaminated air into the clean area. Biosafety Level 4 This is the highest level among all labs. Biosafety Level 4 labs are very less in numbers around the world. These facilities are also under strict government surveillance. In addition of Biosafety Level 3, Level 4 labs have other more precautionary practices. Laboratory Practices Microbes which cause highly dangerous most fatal diseases and spread rapidly are dealt with in these labs. For example, Ebola virus. Safety measures. Changing clothes before entering in the lab. Shower upon exiting from the lab. Use of class 3 biosafety cabinets as a workstation. Wearing positive pressure suit while working. Properly decontaminate every material before exiting from the lab. Facility construction. Level 4 labs are totally isolated and restricted area which are separately constructed. Facility has separate and dedicated air decontamination and airflow systems.